Wow, powerful stuff. Well, one person here in the islands who knows only too well what ME is like is somebody you probably recognise. Our very own Gary Burgess was diagnosed with the illness last year and he's been signed off from full-time work for 14 months so far. Yeah, well, in a moment, we'll speak to Gary about his experience. But first, he's been keeping a video diary for us. Here's an insight into what life is like for him. At the moment, new mums in Jersey get just two weeks of paid maternity leave. What a difference a year makes. That was me at the start of last year, reporting on the day's news and events as I always used to. But my life these days is very different. I think one of the, the hardest things of all is, is really trying to explain what Emmy is like. Because when people see me, they say, oh, you're, you're looking well. Uh, but like this morning, it's, uh, it's just before nine o'clock now. And um, I've, I've got a lot of pain in my body. Um, I, I feel like I've done 10 rounds already because I've just been to the bathroom and got dressed. Um, my eyes are OK. My eyes can go a bit foggy when I'm tired. Um, Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought already. Uh, time to go and get some fresh air. That loss of concentration, known by many as brain fog, combined with physical pain that can run from head to toe and a body sapping fatigue is characteristic of ME, which is also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. It means I regularly need to sleep during the daytime and if I overdo it, I can easily spend most or all of a day or days in bed. Having a, a, t a tougher day today, um, I, I got up this morning, I went for a little walk and I'm just absolutely beaten up. Um, my body feels oh, just <laughs> so sore um, and I'm just washed out. It's uh, I think it's about half one in the afternoon and I've been back in bed for the past few hours, uh, sleeping on and off and just feeling like the ME can be really hard to explain because, uh, well, because you can't see it. Uh, the best way I describe it is, imagine you've got an old mobile phone where the, the battery just won't fully charge. Uh, ME's like that. I, I start my day with a, with a battery that's barely charged overnight and stuff that shouldn't use much energy really knackers my battery. OK, start off with mums in Jersey. I desperately miss all the reporting I used to do. For now, though, rest, relaxation and carefully rationing my limited energy means work is taking a back seat whilst I find my way back to health. Well, Gary has made it into the studio and he's here with us now. Um, Gary, so good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been quite a year, hasn't it? It's, it's been an incredible year. Actually, look, looking back on some of that footage has, has sort of reminded me that it, it's a real roller coaster year. The highs, the lows, the, the dark times, the up times. And the, the positive I, I constantly try to maintain, which is learning about this all the way, because you have to become your own specialist, because there's, there's such a lack of knowledge about ME. I'd certainly never heard of it before now. And thought it was, oh, people who are just a bit tired. Well, that is completely to do Emmy an absolute disservice. And Gary, you have now had your diagnosis, but it was a real battle getting to that point, wasn't it? It really was. Uh, you know, medicine works in silos, so a cancer specialist will deal with cancer, a nutritionist deals with nutritionists, an immunologist, an endocrinologist. I, I was like a regular visitor with a frequent flyer pass at the hospital, <laughs> and they're each looking at their little bit, but the, medicine doesn't really look at the full picture, and there is no single test for ME, so it's a case of ruling things out along the way, and they, they ruled all sorts of things out before finally... 286 days later coming up with this diagnosis. And do you know what caused your condition? They, they don't know. There's, there's, there's a working theory that, that's growing in credence that uh, a, a shock, a trauma in someone's life, which can sometimes be uh, a bug, an illness, catching something. Uh, for me, over the past few years, people may know I've had two major operations for cancer that returned to my lungs. Uh, so a, a trauma on your body, you know, having to work with you every day, you know, oh, there's, yeah, there's lots... That'll do it. <laughs> it will. I feel sorry for you. I can vouch for that. Absolutely. So, you know, that, that's characteristic with many people but it's only a working theory rather than scientific fact at this stage. And we saw your very honest video diary there, we saw how it affects your physical well-being, yeah. what about your mental well-being? It's tough. It's, it's really tough. Um, you know, the, the guilt associated with being off work, the worry what people will think, because 
you look fine. It's described as a hidden illness, a hidden disability. And I only show my face when I'm okay. I, I don't show my face when I'm locked in bed for four hours of an afternoon or two or three days having gone for a long walk. Um, so it, it, it went very dark. I, I've had suicidal thoughts. I, I've been to the doctor to talk about, I'm having suicidal thoughts. This does not feel right. That doesn't mean I'm about to go and end my life. But the fact that I'm thinking about what's the point is alarming. Thankfully, the, there are improving resources for mental health, but, but seeing the mental health side of a physical neurological condition uh, has been a, an eye-opener to me and something I'm, I'm hoping we can raise more awareness of. And finally, what is your prognosis? Uh, the prognosis is that if, if you get it at this age in your life, I know I only look 21, but I'm, I'm 42 now, uh, is that it will probably stick around. So it's about living with it. And the best advice I got from, from the, the best consultant in the island that, that I've seen was kindness. Be kind to yourself. Worry less. Don't feel guilty. Rest. Relax. Watch you two on the telly at six o'clock of a weekday <laughs> night on ITV. Those kind of things. But yeah, kindness is key uh, and, and really retrain and rewrite my life. Yeah. Well, we've talked about that a lot, Gary. You know, I've been telling you that for years. I know, you know. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, wish you all the best. Thank I'm sure so our viewers have been thrilled to see you and hear your story. Thanks so much for coming in. Cheers. Thanks, both. Thank you. You look great as well. And uh, just a reminder, there's a special screening of the documentary Unrest at the Jersey Arts Centre tonight at 8 o'clock. You can see a snippet of that on our website and also on there. You can also find out much more about Emmy and the support group Gary set up. Just head to itv.com channel.